We have been searching for life in the universe for years, but all we have found is a vast void. Physicist Enrico Fermi, when pondering the existence of thousands of planets that could be orbiting habitable zones capable of harboring life, asked the following question, where are they all? Over the centuries, many hypotheses have been developed to resolve what has become known as the Fermi Paradox. A recent hypothesis that has attracted a lot of attention in recent times, found in one of Lil Sixon's books, argues that the universe is like a forest, and civilizations could not communicate for two reasons. Survival is the primary need of civilizations, in addition to continuous growth and expansion, which can lead to various conflicts. For example, we can see some evidence in our own history, such as the Roman Empire, which attacked people who did not even show hostility because they represented a risk in the future. The idea of civilizations that decide to isolate themselves, for example, can be seen in Japan, which in an ancient period closed its borders for fear of European colonization and Christianization. Benevolent civilizations could use camouflage techniques such as altering the light signature of their local star to appear dead, as well as emitting signals with random and weak frequencies to avoid detection. Hostile civilizations may have a doctrine of striking first before they are eliminated, or even building probes to impede the progress of life throughout the galaxy in order to avoid war and protect their legacy. Are we doing the right thing in looking for civilizations that, in our history, have clashed over political or religious ideologies, which guarantees us that when we find them, they will be free from these factors? Subscribe to our channel, The Right Time for Great Ideas.